like the marketing or the business of skateboarding. And the sport by itself, I, I just like skateboarding. It's fun. It's a fun thing to do. But you didn't like possessions either? No. I mean, it, it was difficult for me to do, to do this here with you. I didn't want to. I was going to tell another kid to come with you guys. You know, I told you.
Imagine that this folder is a dimensional plane. Now, assuming that it is no height and no depth, what would this mean? It would mean that it's a one-dimensional world. So if, hypothetically, an organism was living inside of it, it would only be able to move in a linear path forward and backwards in a straight line. Now, if we go to the second dimension, we have two dimensions. We have width and we have length. So hypothetically, if an organism lived inside of here, then it would be able to move up, down, left, right, and anywhere else in between. And a two-dimensional world is comprised of an infinite series of one-dimensional worlds stacked upon each other. Just as our three-dimensional world, which has depth, and length, and height, is comprised of an infinite series of two-dimensional worlds. So, this now that I have stacked many folders upon each other, we have three dimensions. We have depth, we have length, and we have width. Now what happens if you keep going on from here on out? We would have a four-dimensional world. What exactly is the fourth dimension? In order to understand this, we need to understand how dimensions are perceived. 